The Senate's decision to remove President Fernando Lugo by a 39 to 4 vote was never in doubt. Minutes later, Lugo accepted the decision but warned. Today it's not Fernando Lugo who's received a blow. Today it's not Fernando Lugo who has been removed from office. It's Paraguay's history, it's democracy which has been deeply wounded. Riot police lost no time using tear gas and high-pressure hoses to disperse the crowd of angry Lugo supporters outside the Congress building. The opposition-controlled Congress charged Lugo with poor performance, seizing on a lethal clash last week between police and more than 100 landless farmers they were trying to evict from a contested property. Seven farmers and ten law officers were killed, and Lugo was blamed for what his critics called a permissive attitude toward violent squatters. When there's a government where the executive branch renounces the use of monopolizing force, public force, then the violent ones start to occupy an important place, not only in social struggles, but also in political ones. Lugo's lawyers call the accusations subjective and whimsical, but the Senate rejected their plea that the proceedings were unconstitutional. Outside, thousands of the president's supporters have rallied and echoed his description of the proceedings as an express coup. Political trials have always been used in our country by the elite to break the democratic process. What we want is for the people's will to be respected. People elected back in 2008, a government that must continue until 2013. As Paraguay's first freely elected leftist president, Lugo has introduced free treatment in public hospitals, boosted low-income housing and begun cash transfers to the poorest. But there's been little progress in fighting corruption and redeeming Lugo's pledges to redistribute farmland, most of it awarded to a small sector of the population under the country's former military dictatorship. Governments friendly to Lugo, led by Brazil, Venezuela, Ecuador and Bolivia, have dispatched their foreign ministers to his side, some warning of serious consequences to his ouster, including border closings and economic sanctions. Paraguay's vice president, Federico Franco, a former Lugo ally turned opponent, was swiftly sworn in to succeed him, the turnover coming just 10 months before scheduled elections in which Lugo was not eligible to run again. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.